Hi there. <laughs> it's me, Case Stu. I'm here to tell you the story of St. Patrick's Day holiday. Uh, not many people know this, but St. Patrick was the son of English aristocrats in BC 290 AD. And when he was a little boy, he was kidnapped and sent to Ireland to be a shepherd because back then that was the punishment for being kidnapped. <laughs> One day, a voice whispered in his ear, teach the drunk people about Jesus. He started by explaining the Holy Trinity, and he had to explain it like 20 times because they were all so hammered. So finally he was like, it's like a shamrock. The three leaves represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Moly. And the Irish people were like, whoa, God is a shamrock? And he was like, close enough. And so that's why the Irish people take the shamrock so serious. And if you don't wear one, they'll pinch you because otherwise they think you're like Antichrist. St. Patrick is also the patron saint of Patrick's. Next in line is Patrick Swayze, then Patrick Ewing, and then Neil Patrick Harris, who is one third Patrick. St. Patrick's biggest accomplishment was driving the snakes out of Ireland, which was nice because he didn't have to give them a ride. Legend states that he got the snakes drunk and then drove them to what they thought was another bar. He was all like, let's go down to this cool boat bar by the water, but it was actually a ferry. <laughs> and when the snakes woke up, they were in England and they were like pissed and that's why English and Ireland don't get along. But that's another story for another time. The St. Patrick's Day Parade represents a long drunk snake, which is why everyone gets drunk and slurs their word to sound like a sn snake. Happy St. Patrick's Day! St. <laughs> Patrick's Day is celebrated on March 17th, which is the day that St. Patrick died. It's like Christmas for the Irish. Everyone gets drunk on St. Patrick's Day. Irish Americans get extra drunk and they celebrate all week. And in Ireland, they celebrate all year. <laughs> Irish people say, kiss me, I'm Irish. And all that kissing is why Irish people have such huge families. And they don't believe in birth control. This holiday falls during the Christian season of Lent, which is the time when St. Patrick lent people stuff. And when he died, everyone was sad, but they also celebrated because then they didn't have to give him back all the stuff that he lent them. St. Patrick invented a lot of stuff like river dancing, the shamrock shake, the hug fight, public urination, and white basketball. He was known as Apostle of Ireland. Apostle plays dead when it is frightened. Hence the phrase, playing apostle. Happy March Madness.